Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. You're watching the international final of a Tata Crucible here. 2017, Dubai, Singapore, India. One round remaining, but here's how it's all stacking up. The Crucible Exchange on your screen now. As we move to the final frontier of our battle, it's time to play the game of crowns. Here it comes. On the game of crowns, 50, the value of a right answer. If you get the answer right, you reserve the right to ask for a bonus question. The value of the bonus is at 100, so you can cumulatively get 150. But if you get the bonus wrong, you lose 150. You have the right to decide whether you want to play the bonus or not. The incentive to you is the bonus will be based on the right answer that you have given me. So you know the boundaries of your bonus question. If you are ready, two attempts at the 50 value on the bonus. It's a prerogative of only the team that gets it right. So three questions with a potential three bonuses can still change this game. If someone, well, plays like what Gary Sobers did many years ago. For the moment, on the buzzer, first question, now. These are the coat of arms. With no further clue, Jamshedpur are going for it. 50 if you get it right. Champagne. Champagne. Champagne of, of France. Champagne, a location in France is why most champagne bottles in the world carry this insignia to this day. Beautiful! What a quality answer! Do you want to play your bonus? You're on 50. He seems to know a fair bit about the world of champagnes. I'll play. You're playing it? Yeah. NIT Jamshedpur are biting the bullet. Oh, nothing to lose. He's taken the shot. Bonus question to you. Your answer was champagne from the world of champagne. What is an agraffe? A G R A F F E. Where would you find an agraffe if you bought champagne? The bonus is for a hundred. So basically, uh, when you champagne bottles are popped, right, uh, for a celebration, and uh, so the top of there's a cork. Uh, that that portion along when so basically you do like this you open it that that portion is known as the agraph the one which the portion you pull yeah we basically you pull you pull that thing there's it's a it's a metal uh, thing which is there on the it's top it's a metal kind of a thing okay which holds the cock yeah. on a champagne bottle and that's called an agraph one hundred and fifty. <laughs> Fantastic quizzing. From a 50 on a bonus, they get 100, 150 to NIT from Jamshedpur. Here's question number two. Two remaining. Dubai, AFMC from India, NIT suddenly into the game. Here's the next one now. Tinker board. From the world of DIYs, do it yourself. Too quick to hit the buzzer, not allowing me to speak. 50 if you get it right. Basically, these are uh, self, basically, these are boards, uh, self, uh, basically, it's a do, do it yourself board, which uh, uh, you have, you basically buy it and you build uh, robots out of it at home. Because, uh, because the structure of, of, the, of that is like a chip. So you, you are at a business quiz. It's from... Uh, I don't even ask class 5 students to define DIY. That's what you're doing essentially. It's, 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 uh, it's from... Uh, go on. It's from uh, Intel. Minus 50. Minus 50. 
The answer that I was looking for here today is Asus. And we go to the final question on your screen. Now. It's a radio station. Third Rock. 50 if you get it right. Third Rock is a radio station. Who owns it? Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. AFMC. The doctors are really giving it their go today. So go we, ahead, guys. We're guessing that this is a radio station for space travelers or like few people, people on the International on the Space Station or on, or on the moon. In space. So, who would own this? Uh, astronauts. Uh, astronauts and like NASA. NASA owns a radio station for people in the International Space Stations. Plus 50! Armed Forces Medical College. The third rock. Do you want to play the bonus question? No. We'll take a look at where the teams stand. Even before we do that, what a final. Put your hands together. Sensational. Absolutely sensational. Here's the final scorecard on your screens. Crucible Exchange. <laughs> Teams from the international edition this year also happen to be of Indian origin. So permit me a Bollywood inspiration to perhaps summarize AFMC's victory today. They really tried hard in the India final, could not quite get past an NIT Jamshedpur, but gave themselves the odds in an international final. Never before in the history of this quiz have two aspiring doctors won India's premier business quiz. Superb! That's a tribute! They joined the likes of London Business School, they joined the likes of NUS, and they joined the likes of, I think, IM Calcutta. All these are teams that have won the international final in the past. It's perhaps why Bollywood repeatedly says, Harkar jeetne wale ko bazigar kehte hai. <laughs> well, put your hands together for them. They lost one. And they came back in style to win the big one. They win themselves an international holiday. Ladies and gentlemen, in all fairness... And it's never happened before that a first-time country has really played so superbly well. Put your hands together for S.P. Jain. <laughs> Outstanding. <laughs> for now, six champions who really played out of their skins with over 7,000 teams. It's a tribute this year to Atata Fushu. And... At a moment like this, it's indeed our pleasure and honor at the Tata Crucible to have amidst us an extremely senior member of the Tata fraternity. He's been with the Tata group for over three decades. Prior to the board of Tata Sons, he held various positions at Tata Steel and was its finance director for close to a decade. Ladies and gentlemen, it's an honor and a privilege for us to welcome on stage the non-executive director of Tata Sons. He was the finance director of Tata Sons for over a decade. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Ishat Hussain. Certainly re-emphasize what I told you seven years ago. You have a tremendous memory, just like mine. Um, clearly, you must play the game beyond the prize, and I think... You guys did a great job. I was supporting you because of Jamshedpur. <laughs> um, no, actually, it's, it's quite amazing. While you made all those uh, very flattering statements about me, uh, the fact of the matter is that I possibly got only two questions right. So I really admire these youngsters as to how much knowledge they have, the doctors, between cutting up frogs and things like that, at this stage, <laughs> you managed to uh, win this 
international. I think you're the international champions. Congratulations. But clearly, you know, the, uh, the amount of knowledge and information that is available today on the net, I, I am suffering from information fatigue. And, and I think the challenge for you guys really is to, to manage to sift the nonsense from the sense. I, I try to do it at my age. I can't say I'm winning, but I'm certainly trying. But it's really incredible um, how people from Dubai and Singapore, India, Jamshedpur, Pune have all come together. But for the moment, ladies and gentlemen, we'll start with the international champion of Tata Crucible here today to walk up. Well, like I said, they did the Bazigar today. Armed Forces Medical College, Pune, as our international champions. Ladies and gentlemen, after a fascinating journey over the last couple of months, all good things must come to an end. But what a finish. What a final. 7,000 plus teams, technically 40 locations. 38 in India, Singapore and Dubai. And at the end of it all, emerging international champions at Tata Crucible for campuses 2017, the Armed Forces Medical College from Pune. And right behind them, by a whisker in that final, making their mark for the first time. SP Jain School of Global Management from Dubai, finishing a very close runner-up. Truly appreciate the teams and you for being with us over the last many weeks. As much as we've enjoyed bringing this quiz to you week on week, I sincerely hope you enjoyed watching this. From me, Pick Brain, from all of us here, at CNBC TV 18, till we come back to you with the corporate edition of this quiz, you've been watching Tata Crucible. Thank you for tuning in. Good evening and goodbye.